Hello, everyone. I just conducted a meeting in here that was very productive with Education Commissioner Betty Rosa, the head of state police, Steve Nigrelli, and Andy Pilata, who is the head of NYSET. The topic of the conversation were the three or the 36 incidences that occurred yesterday, what are known as swatting incidences. And those who are not familiar with this, the word swatting comes from a desire of some actor, sometimes they're foreign, sometimes they're domestic, to basically make prank phone calls on a school with, with significant legitimacy, basically fooling a school into believing that there's an active shooter on site or about to appear. And the idea of swatting comes around to the fact that they're trying to draw law enforcement into a situation, particularly SWAT teams, to respond. It is phenomenally disruptive. It causes trauma among teachers and children and parents. It causes chaos, especially this week after what the nation had to witness, another mass shooting in a children's school in Nashville. So this has been a traumatic week for families across New York, particularly those in the concentrated area of the Hudson Valley area, Albany, and as well as parts in Western New York and the Adirondacks. So I wanted to find out how we're responding immediately in, in response to those those phone calls. Our state police went to over 226 schools as well as encouraging and, and having law enforcement visit as well as sheriffs, local law enforcement in the areas that are not patrolled by the state police. That occurred yesterday. We also are convening and meeting this afternoon, another one to figure out our outreach to parents. What I want parents to know is that we are taking every single incident very seriously. We treat it as if it's real. But the reality is this is meant to disrupt and cause chaos in our school system and indeed society. What I want them also to know, there are tools out there available. Something that we enacted last year after the mass shooting in Buffalo, the red flag loss, of which there have now been over 7,000, 7,060 extreme risk orders of protection issues. This is a tool that if someone sees or becomes aware of someone either online or in person, that an individual could cause harm to themselves or other, they have an avenue. They can alert law enforcement and someone can identify whether or not the person involved has access to guns at home or whether they plan on purchasing guns and can stop that from happening. This has been working successfully, but I wanna make sure that all teachers and people in the education system are familiar with how this works because I'd rather be in the business of preventing tragedies than solving crimes and mass shootings afterward. So that's just happened here with our team involved as well as some individuals on Zoom, but it was, it was productive. And I want to reassure parents that the state of New York takes this very seriously. It is incredibly, incredibly stressful on our families at this time, and there's nothing we want more to, than to restore some sense of common normalcy for our kids who've been through so much over the last few years. 